Hello all, in this video we will see how to use the Toshiba TB6600 stepper driver which has 4 ampere capacity to drive NEMA 27 or NEMA 34 type huge stepper motors. Uh, generally these stepper motors have 4 wires that is uh, bipolar which can be driven by this uh, H-Bridge TB6600. This 6600 board has uh, connectors. Uh, on both sides and a dip switch and a potentiometer. One side of the connector is for uh, uh, enable CLK, uh, CW and uh, plus 5 volt and the other side of the connector is to connect the motor, two phases of motor A minus A plus, B minus B plus and then the power source. It can ac accept up to 32 volt supply. We are using here 12 volt 5 ampere SMPS as power source. At the bottom one dip switch is there. Uh, four switches are there M1, M2, M3, M4. Out of which uh, uh, M1, M2, and M3 control the step. Uh, uh, control the step. That is full step 1 by 2, 1 by 4, or 1 by 8. For general operation, put the uh, M3 switch to on position. M1, M2 in off and M3 to on position. If all switches are on or all switches are off, this board will not work. So take care to set this switch initially. If you remove the screws of the, on the heat sink, you can see the Toshiba TB6600 IC. This Toshiba IC is a very powerful IC with 4 ampere capacity which can drive heavy stepper motors. On board there is 74HC123 uh, which is mono stable multi vibrator and uh, opto couplers are used so that isolated connection of uh, phases uh, uh, safely done. Generally these stepper motors bi are bipolar stepper motors with 4 wires. You can separate out the two phases with equal impedance. Check for the continuity and then separate out the two phases of the motor. Connect one phase to A plus A minus of the TB6600 and another phase to B plus B minus of TB6600. The power source is connected to plus and minus, plus to plus and minus to minus. We are using here 12 volt 5 ampere as a power source but it can ac accept up to 32 volt uh, depending on the stepper motors you are using. Uh, take care to make the M3 switch on on the dip switch. We are using Arduino you know for to control the pulses. So connection between Arduino you know and TB6600 is uh, enable pin to digital 2 CW pin to digital pin 4 that is for uh, selecting the direction and CLK pin to digital pin 3 this is to control the step and finally 5 volt pin of TB6600 to 5 volt of Arduino this uh, do not miss out this 5 volt connection this is very important this enable pin can be permanently pulled high or you can control from the Arduino you know now provide the AC supply to the 12 volt 5 ampere SMPS Open up the Arduino IDE. First we will see the code without using any library. Here uh, first the uh, digital pins are declared. The direction pin is declared as 4. The step pin is declared as 3. And the enable pin is declared as 2. And the number of steps as 200. As the step angle of uh, NEMA motor is 1.8. We need 200 into 1.8 equal to 360 for a single rotation and millis between steps is used to control the speed of the motor. Inside void setup, uh, we use pin mode and declare all these pins as output and we use digital write to make the enable pin high and then we make the direction pin as high so that the motor rotates clockwise. Inside the for loop, we count from uh, 0 to number of steps and then make the uh, step pin as high and then step pin as low. Finally, we apply the delay that is millis between uh, steps. 
and then after a delay we change the direction by making the direction pin as low and then again uh, iterate the uh, steps for 200 steps with millis between steps delay now upload the code and see the result that is 200 steps one one rotation clockwise and then another rotation anti clockwise to again make it rotate you have to press the uh, reset button as we are not using the loop we have to press the uh, reset button to make it rotate again one rotation uh, 200 steps clockwise and again 200 steps uh, anti clockwise to make it slower you can change the millis between steps 200 from 10 to 100 and then upload the code now you can see the stepper motor moving in small steps it is moving slower in small steps to complete one rotation and then it makes uh, after a delay it makes the reverse uh, counterclockwise rotation just by uh, giving the delay and the number of steps we can uh, move the stepper to any position now let us install a library open uh, that is manage libraries and then search for flexi stepper there is axle stepper library also but here we will be using flexi stepper which is very much suitable for tb6600 select the latest version of uh, flexi stepper library and then click on install once the flexi stepper, li stepper library is installed under uh, files examples you can see uh, the example codes now let us check the code one by one first example under flexi stepper is uh, basic stepper uh, click on that basic stepper to load the code in this code we define the step pin as 3 and direction pin as 4 as we did in the uh, last setup so we are not going to change the pins with the Arduino uh, enable pin we can pull high or leave it as it is uh, it is working without enable pin also now create a, a stepper motor object flexi stepper named as stepper and then we use the class uh, connect to pins and pass on the parameter step and direction pin inside setup we set speed and acceleration to 100 and then move uh, stepper dot move relate uh, relative in steps to 200 so that it makes one circle and after delay we just make it anti-clockwise to move steps uh, uh, 200 steps and finally we increase the set speed to 800 and make the move relative in steps uh, 10 times so that it makes uh, 10 rotation that is one clockwise rotation one anti-clockwise rotation and then uh, increase speed to make 10 rotations upload the code and see the result one clockwise direction one anti-clockwise and then motor speed increases and uh, rotates 10 times as we are using it in loop it will go on forever Now let us see the second example. The second example is uh, absolute moves. From flexi stepper examples, select the second example, absolute moves. Inside this, uh, we include the flexi stepper dot h header file, and then the step pin is declared as three and motor uh, direction pin as four as in the previous example and then stepper object is created as a stepper we use the connect to pins class and assign the step pin and then direction pin
then move to position in steps class is used to move 200 steps rotate motor forward for one uh, 200 step and then rotate to position 400 already it has moved 200 steps so another rotation will move to 400 steps and finally increase the speed and then move back to position home so first one rotation second one rotation and then reverse two rotations and back to home now let us see the third example that is uh, using units of rotation uh, instead of steps instead of uh, steps 200 like that we can give units of rotation 0.25 0.5 uh, 0.75 like that here initially we uh, set the stepper uh, stepper set to 200 uh, steps and then set speed and acceleration and then move to position in revolutions is used to move to 0.25 0.5 0.75 and then back to home that is it uh, first moves to uh, clock 3 o'clock position 6 o'clock position 9 o'clock position and then back to home and then three re, three revolutions with uh, increased motor speed you can upload the code and see the uh, result so some other examples are also there you can try this flexi stepper uh, library with tb6600 it is very effective in use now let us check the current consumption of the tb6600 of uh, with the nema 32 34 motor to measure the current you remove the power source positive of uh, uh, tb6600 and connect the meter in ampere position in series always use meter in series position while measuring ampere now you can see it uh, withdraws only 800 milliamps it is very less compared uh, to the capacity of the motor so tb6600 is very effective stepper control drive thank you for watching